Champs-Élysées. Salamat pagi, apa kabar? I think that is good morning. How are you in Malay? I know I have many Malay viewers sending you lots of love and asking you if I did well. Let me know, or maybe don't correct me if it was very bad. <laughs> Just kidding. Today I'm already dressed. I'm actually already in a coat because we are leaving. We are heading out for a coffee and I'll feel you in, in a moment. I received a few presents yesterday that I never actually had a chance to unbox because we were constantly out and it was such a crazy day. So I will have to unbox these after we come back today. So this morning we're heading out for coffee. We're letting uh, Teresita work on the home so that we're not always in the way. Yeah, getting a coffee, probably seeing Cindy and Jorgen again and then I really have to get home and finish some work because in like maybe two days time I should be getting better and like more chilled but up until like somewhat 18th of December it's kind of busy I have to say it's very busy and then I'm gonna start thinking about proper holidays and maybe even do something who knows there's no sugar for me thank you back here because we love it so much as you guys know it's one of my favorite coffees such a like small cute place but they even do little croissants and the cookies we're currently outside of uh Balmain and rue saint honore and there's olivier rustin who you can't really see that it's him but it is him shooting a kind of campaign as you can see in the window of the Boutique. Quite a cool thing. They've got like coffees over there. And it's, uh, it's actually a very interesting idea. It's very different for, especially for a creative director to shoot the campaign. I think it's pretty cool. This is, thank you so much. I'm all good. All coffeeed out for today, but great content. Okay, we're at Chanel right now. I know it seems like these days all we're doing is shopping, but I'm meeting Ksenia in a moment to check out some stuff. I'm actually loving these windows. Chanel always has really, really great visuals. And we're trying to understand if the green stuff on the windows was here or before. I will have to check the vlogmas. They want to understand that. I love this jacket, look. But, and I have a pink tweed jacket from Chanel already. Let's head in. to the Cambon around the corner one to check out some other stuff. Okay, um, it's around 12, so not too late. We did a bit of like everything. I was outside, just took my boots off. The best thing about this coat is you can't really see what I'm wearing underneath and I just had my Arcade Cashmere tracksuit. This is the look. I'm gonna take this off now and I have a few things to unbox. But also guys, I really urgently need a beauty day. So today I wanna do a hair mask. I need to get my nails done. I wanna do a face mask as well. I need to put a bit of love and care into myself. I need to book a nail appointment. I would love to go. I haven't been to hairdressers in like, I don't even know how long months. So I'm gonna see if I can book something. Though December is always a very busy month. Not sure if it's gonna be now that there are no events with the beauty places. So I'm gonna check that out and we'll update you if we can have a little nice cozy comfy beauty day today. I'm just covering my address. I know I said I have some unboxings to do as well here. So let's get that done now. Over here we have something from Lomwan. Let's see. I still haven't even taken my coat off. I actually know what it is. It's so beautifully wrapped. See? It says, we wish you the best. Team Lamont. This is a gift. It's actually their new launch. <gasps> I love this color. It's their new launch, the sugar bag. It's super cute. It's like a little pillow. And I don't think I have a bag in this color. So this is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Very soft and cozy and pillow-like. Thank you so much, Lamvan. That's beautiful. And in the FedEx box, we have something from Stella McCartney. Okay, just attached it to my mirror. Here is my new Stella McCartney coat. You guys know that Stella does really, really insane coats. Now, I still haven't taken my coat that I wore today, so I'll take it off to try this one on. Okay, I need to iron it a little bit, but this is like my dream 
coat when I don't want to wear the big Max Mara Teddy, when I want something more kind of classic, but it's so cool, oversized. I mean, Stella makes the best coats and suits and jackets. That's kind of her expertise, if you ask me. Tailoring is just in general amazing. Really, really love this one. I need to iron it a little bit because it was in the box, but it's perfection. Like I told you, we need a little beauty day that I'm feeling very happy because I just managed to book my nail appointment in French. You know, je voudrais réserver un rendezvous, like whatever. I know my accent is like probably terrible, the Frenchies will say. But considering I never took one hour of French a day, you know, I'm getting by. So tomorrow we're going to fix this. It's actually not so bad, but it's growing out. So we need to replace a nice little gel polish that will last me until Christmas. Currently we are in my office. I'm responding to your comments, working and all of that important stuff. And I'm actually browsing on Dior website. I also have Netflix open, lol. I've noticed there's so many really beautiful, beautiful new pieces. So I'm shopping for Christmas gifts. Of course, this is by the way not sponsored, even though I work with Dior all year long. I shop on their website quite a bit and I will leave in the description box the link to some of my favorite shopping spots on here. So right now, I really need to go and wash my hair and I also need to eat dinner because I'm back to my healthy eating. I will discuss that in a moment, but I'm stuck looking at all the Christmas decoration on Dior.com and not like the Christmas plates. This is so crazy, guys. I'm gonna show you in a second. Here we go, Dior and lights. Like, this is so crazy. They have so many wonderful things. And I don't know if I'll be hosting anything this year for Christmas or around it, but I want so many of these things for my home. This is crazy. Regarding the whole food situation, I am now back to my intermittent fasting. So I am now finishing the food for the day at 6 p.m. and then continuing to eat the next morning at 10 because I've noticed that that really is what my body loves the most. It has been kind of hard to be doing intermittent fasting for the past, like I would say, summer was easy because I never eat late in the summer anyway, but I think that it was quite difficult for the past two months because when the when the restaurants were open that's when it was very difficult because we would have like three or four social dinners a week you know after the lockdown when everything got released we were like seeing our same friends basically Xenia, Jurgen, Alex and Gus three times a week we would either do in our house or we would go out you know because Finally, we had opportunities to eat out, to try different restaurants, to support the restaurants in these difficult times. That's when it was really hard. But now I'm back in my routine and I'm very happy. I feel great. I feel very... I was saying about this recently. I feel very centered. And, you know, I kind of wanted to speak about that because it makes you think how important eating is when it comes to how you feel. It's so important. What kind of food you consume, what you eat, how you eat it. It's the most important thing, really. It's everything. I'm gonna prepare something for me now because it's like five. So I'm gonna eat my dinner, finish with the food for today, I'm gonna wash my hair, do all of my little beauty treatments. I booked my manicure for tomorrow, hoping that tomorrow will be a nice little beauty day. We have some events actually tomorrow as well that I will be attending. Okay guys, a little change of the plan. The plan now is I'm gonna eat my dinner. That is not changing because it's very important for me. I'm gonna have a full plate of soup delicious tomato my favorite and after that might tackle this put it all in the wardrobe and organize it nicely and neatly and then we're gonna head out to Champs Elysees to have a look at the Christmas lights because I actually haven't seen really I haven't seen Montaigne or like that part of the city at all in a very long time kind of always go the other way around like towards the second that is the plan I will take you of course with me and show you some decorations lights and what it all looks like. I'm not gonna be dressing up or anything like that. Just really wanna head out and see what it's like there right now. Guys, I kid you not, this is my favorite dinner. I could have this all the time or broccoli soup as well. I love broccoli or carrot. I'm gonna have all the soups. I don't have any baguette, but I might have some crackers with this and that's going to be my meal of the evening. Go all the way to the top, which ends in 
in at the Triumph and then all the way down which ends you can't really see it but that there is the Concorde Montaigne is decorated differently and now we're gonna walk around a little bit to see what, what's the atmosphere like on Champs-Élysées so let's do that now we're on Avenue Montaigne I think this is so crazy it's so well decorated. The whole street is like a little dream. Very Christmassy, very light. Look at Fendi. Got a lot of sparkling presents and the windows are pretty beautiful too. Over there Chanel with some more kind of similar decoration as on Combo. This is so cool, look, everywhere. Love it. And here we have Dior, the Montaigne, the super famous one which, by the way, still looks so stunning. I love it always. This is probably my favorite building in Paris at Christmas because it always looks so beautiful. Currently it's our home, checking out if we can find some stuff for setting up a table. I actually love the Zara home tree. It's so beautiful. Got back from Zara home and truth be told, I didn't really expect to get anything there or didn't even plan on anything, but it's quite a convenient little stop and it's always so attractive to pop by. I wanted to show you what I ended up getting. Over here, I envisaged this table. So you guys know our Christmas decoration this year is sort of um, gold and red, predominantly gold, I would say. And um, we are going to be hosting a dinner at some point. For this dinner, we don't really have much. We don't have the tablecloth, we don't have the like mats for the plates, we don't have any Christmas plates. Like Our plates are Amalfi ceramics, you know, they're very summery. They're kind of like seafoody, uh, summery, and perhaps could even work for someone, but I do not think they're Christmassy at all. We have also a set of white plates, which are just very basic. So we got also uh, these gold plates. At the back they look like this, they're glass and coated. I don't know if this means anything to anybody, but this plate is 16 euro. So we will have the one big gold plate, then the little gold plate, which is not going to focus because I'm really focusing on my face, in between the two white plates. The only thing I hate at Zara Home is that they always have the sticker in the middle. We will have the napkin holders to be, you know, we'll have the golden plate with a kind of nice touch of red to match the Christmas tree and to give it all a perfect kind of Christmassy vibe. Then got also candelabra because I find it very, very difficult to find candelabras. Actually, these are quite heavy and nice. I also would like to get crystal ones to kind of, you know, add a bit of nice evening night vibe. Now for the Christmas dinner, I would like to have a simple white cloth, but we also got the Christmas cloth for the Christmas week and New Year's Eve, which will be full of like cake, chocolate, panettone, hopefully. I might even bake myself. I know I keep saying it, but from, you know, like the 18th onwards, I might even try. And then because all of our cutlery is silver, these are the gold little things, because I don't think the silver would go very well. So actually very heavy, it's not that much. I think it's quite easy to make a bit of a Christmas vibe um, at the table. And you know, for me and all of my friends, I have to say that all of us are kind of relatively new to living in Paris. So none of us have like Christmas decorations and table and stuff like that. So it's just a little bit of a beginning, you know, trying to put things together and to kind of have create a little bit of a vibe and organize a space for it. I'm gonna go wash my hair and finally like jump in the shower. I'm very excited for it. It's like 7.20 already. Opening my advent calendars is late at night, but hopefully you guys won't mind. Over here, it's their creamy eye treatment with avocado. I remember this is one of the first uh, Kiehl's products that I ever tried. Over here, I managed to dig out number 12. There we go. It's the mini soak off gel polish. I really want to use this because um, I just kind of removed the gel, but actually we're going to get a manicure tomorrow. This calendar received a lot of Christmas lights today. Someone in this house loves Christmas lights and it's not me. We have another little cone and I cannot wait. I'm gonna bring the Christmas decorations to Stefan. I think he will love them so much. Oh, I look so bad. I had washed my hair. Look at this. PP long socks, whatever it's called. I don't know. I know in German, PP Langstrumpf, and uh, in Italian is uh, PP Calze Lunghe, something like that. But honestly, and in Serbian, of course, I know PP Dugacarapa, but I don't actually know in English. And um, I'm gonna put it all in one braid, kind of all together, and 
let's see if Xenia's advice works so that tomorrow is going to be nice and wavy. want to kind of try that method as well. But right now I'm going to go make myself a tea. Do same that I do every single night. I'm not even going to say what it is. You guys know because you guys know what I'm still watching. I am today coming to a very, very interesting episode. Let's do this. I fell asleep. We were watching um, something called Room 2806 and now I cannot wait to sleep. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.